In this video, we'll write the equation for NiNO3 2 plus H2O, that's nickel 2 nitrate plus water. Nickel is a metal, it's a transition metal, and then the N and the O, those are nonmetals. So when we have a metal and a group of nonmetals, or a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. So because it's ionic, we need to think about the charges. Nickel, because of this 2 here, the Roman numeral, that tells us it's got a 2 plus charge. So we can just put a 2 plus above the nickel. And then NO3, that's called the nitrate ion. You can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. That has a 1 minus charge. So we have plus 2, and then 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. Those cancel out. It's a neutral compound. And that plus, these pluses here, and the minus, they're attracted. That's what forms the ionic bond. We have solid nickel 2 nitrate. And then we have liquid water. So we'll put the solid in the liquid. It'll dissolve or dissociate into its ions. That gives us Ni2 plus and the nitrate ion. We have a 2 down here as our subscript. That tells us we do have two nitrate ions. So we should put a coefficient in front of this here. And then since these are dissolved in water, we can write Aq after them. That means aqueous, which means dissolved in water. Since we have the aqueous, we don't need to write H2 on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for nickel 2 nitrate plus water. Should note, however, that the nickel being a transition metal will form a complex with water that'll look like this. That's probably a little bit too advanced for most courses, but I thought I'd put it in there. This is Dr. B with the equation for NiNO32 plus H2O, nickel nitrate plus water, and thanks for watching.